everyone and a big thank you for being here today. I am Ms. Saxena along with my colleague Dr. Deepika Chavra from Medical Services. On behalf of Jackson Park Pharmaceuticals Limited, Nari Division would like to extend a warm welcome to this second webinar in the series, Expert Speaks Promoting a Healthy, Happy Pregnancy. Accredited with ICOG points, organized under the aegis of West UP chapter of ISOPAV with Mathura Ops and Gai Societies and academic partner Nari Division of Jackson Power Pharmaceuticals, maker of Diva Gest, the range of natural micronized progesterone. Jackson Power is are delighted to present Diva Gest, our range of natural micronized progesterone, Diva Gest 200 SR, Diva Gest 300 SR, Diva Gest 200 soft gel, and Diva Gest 100 injections. For today's webinar series, Expert Speaks Promoting a Healthy and Happy Pregnancies, I welcome organizing chairperson, Dr. Ajna Sharma, ma'am. She is consultant, IVF and laparoscopic surgeon, scientific and clinical director of Ganesh Hospital and Test Tube Baby Gazebar. She is founder member and treasurer, West UP chapter of ISOPAP and president-elect Gazebar Ops and Gaini Society. Welcome, ma'am, and please start this webinar. On behalf of West UP chapter ISOPAP, I welcome you all in this prestigious webinar, which we are conducting in association with the Mathura Society. First of all, I extend a warm welcome to our dynamic president, Isopab, Dr. Arup Maji, and gorgeous secretary, Dr. Pragya Mishra, for giving such a wonderful platform to organize this webinar. I also take opportunity to welcome our convener, Founder President West UP Isopup, very sweet, very gentle, and very close to my heart, my very dear friend, Dr. Archana Verma, Madam, who is also the past president, Foxy. She has taken all the efforts to help up in or help us in organizing such an excellent academic feast that is today's webinar. My special welcome goes to our gorgeous chief guest, Dr. Leela West, Madam. She is also the past president, Foxy who has very kindly consented to be there for this webinar. I also welcome our young, sweet, lovely chairperson, Young Talent Promotion Committee, Foxy Dr. Niharika Malhotra, as a guest of honor and our amazing special guest, Dr. Poonam Verma. It's really a privilege and honor to welcome the renowned faculty, infertility, IVF, and laparoscopic surgeon, Dr. Jay Mehta from Bombay who is going to speak on internal iliac artery and ligation. I also take the opportunity to welcome our Foxy aspirants, Dr. Komal Chavan, Dr. B. Kalpana, Dr. Suman Sinha, all the chairpersons, speakers, and wonderful audience. I just want to extend my heartiest welcome to our Mathura Society also, President Dr. Jyoti Agarwal, Secretary Dr. Rashmi Goel. Dr. Jyoti Agarwal is consultant and director Jyoti Narsimhan, and she is the president of Mathura OBGY Society. Her special interest is in the medical disorders of pregnancy and infertility. Now I invite Dr. Jyoti Agarwal for her welcome address. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Jackson Paul Pharmaticals and Amit. Good evening, respected seniors, friends, and juniors. Greetings from birthplace of Lord Krishna. Mox is thankful to West UP Chapter ISOPAR for making us a part of this academic session promoting a happy, healthy pregnancy. And all of us are well versed that future of a child is decided by the initial thousand days of his life. Therefore, it is our responsibility to make the child happy in utero as well. When the mother carries a child, stays happy, the happiness reflects in the baby too. And this is what the mission of ISOPAB is, to make the happy mother and child happy and healthy. Carrying forward, I feel privileged in welcoming dignitaries present Dr. Arup Kumar Maji, sir, President ISOPAB, Dr. Pragya Mishra Chaudhary, ma'am, Secretary General ISOPAB, our Chief Guest, Dr. Leela Vyas, ma'am, Chief Convener, Dr. Archana, ma'am, Ajna Verma, ma'am, and guest of honor, Dr. Niharika Malhotra. I also welcome program moderators, Dr. Ajna Sharma, ma'am, and Dr. Rashmi Goel. Our speaker of today is Dr. Jeh Mehta, sir, 
a uh, charismatic surgeon doing complicated surgery effortlessly. Our expert today is Dr. Poonam Verma Shivkumar, ma'am. Our uh, session two will be by the three uh, contenders who are uh, standing for various posts, Dr. Suman Singha, ma'am, Dr. Komal Chawan, ma'am, and Dr. B. Kalpana, ma'am. All of you, uh, we wish you luck for the Foxai upcoming elections. Our speaker of session three is Dr. Gunjan Gulati, ma'am, and expert is Dr. Neera Ben, ma'am. Uh, panelist chairpersons are Dr. Neha Putar, Dr. Seema Vashni, ma'am, Dr. Arjuna Goel, ma'am, and Dr. Rinu Goel, ma'am. I welcome you all for coming today. I welcome all the attendees here. I hope, we hope that we will have the two most productive hours of interesting and stimulating discussion. Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity as sunlight expels darkness and brings blessings and prosperity into life. To make this evening a blessed one, I would like to invite Dr. Shima Vasne, ma'am, to carry forward the Lion Lightning session. Yes. Dr. Seema Vashti, ma'am, is the second best. Thank you very much. Uh, ma'am, just two lines for you. Uh, Seema oh, Vashti, okay. ma'am, secretary, best UP chapter, ISOPAP, chairperson, past president, past secretary, Gox, has received a Wonder Woman. Okay, I, I take it from here, Dr. Jyoti. Thank you so much. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon to all esteemed attendees and distinguished guests and speakers. My heartiest congratulations to Mathra Society for organizing such a wonderful webinar with full of experts. As representative of West UP chapter, I extend a very warm welcome to Honorable our Chief Guest, Dr. Leela Vyas, Madam, and special guest, Dr. Neharika Malhotra and Poonam Verma Shivkumar. I am delighted to have esteemed uh, speakers, Dr. Jay Mehta, Dr. Gunjan Gulati, and three of our Foxy aspirants, Dr. Komal Chaman, Dr. Suman Sina, and Dr. B. Kalpna. I welcome, uh, it is my pleasure to welcome all the chairperson and experts, Dr. Neera Bhan, Neha Poda, Dr. Archana, and uh, other esteemed chairpersons. Uh, my gratitude to uh, patrons of uh, West UP chapter ISOFAR, Padam Shri, Dr. Usha Sharma, ma'am, Dr. Uh, Narin Malhotra, sir, and uh, uh, past president, Dr. Gangadhar Sau, sir, and uh, they, they, they have given unwavering uh, support and encouragement all over. And uh, a special thanks to president ISOFAR, Dr. Arup Mazi, and uh, secretary general, Dr. Pragya Mishra, and not the least, a uh, pillar of West UP chapter, uh, founder president, Dr. Archana Verma for their valuable contribution to the West UP chapter ISOPAR. She has taken this uh, platform to sky high. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your encouragement. She's inspiration for all of us. I'm feeling pleasant to invite all the dignities for the lamp lighting as program starts with the uh, blessings of God Almighty. As we know, this platform always provides us to hear and gain insights from various and numerous stalwarts in this field. So I am privileged to invite very dynamic, vibrant inspiration for all of us, role model for, a, for all of us, 
Dr. Archana Verma, Founder President West UP Chapter ISO FAR and Vice President Foxy 2021. She is uh, advisor UPCOG. She was organizing chairperson UPCOG 2020, past president Gazebad OBG Society. And Dr. Archana has, is passionate about creating awareness on women's health. And she is chairperson uh, public awareness committee Foxy 2016 to 18. She was member of Rotary Lawrence Ekta Udham BPP, executive board member for NNF India. She's executive member endocrinology committee Suffolk, executive member AOFOG Onco committee. And she has received so many awards. She has published so many papers and she has uh, chairing, she's chairing national and international conferences. Madam, we are eager to hear your uh, valuable inputs to in, uh, to gain in our knowledge. Dr. Archana Varma, ma'am. I'm uh, really privileged and uh, so much thank you to all of us. But I think, first of all, let us uh, uh, hear from uh, this iSuperb uh, national team. Dr. Pragya is here and then uh, Dr. Uh, our chief guest is here. And then I will be like, uh, Archana Sharma and Seema, both of you have talked and uh, taken this platform on behalf of me only. So my words are always with uh, same and same eco. So please introduce uh, our. Thank you so national. much, ma'am. Dr. Archana, thank you, Sharma. madam. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Archana and Dr. Seema, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. It's like really my privilege and honor to introduce our dynamic president. Professor Arup Kumar Maji, sir. He, uh, I think in ISOPAB, everybody knows him. But just for the official introduction, he is the professor, Shanti Niketan Medical College, Bolpur, West Bengal, past president, Bengal OBGY Society, past president, Kolkata chapter of the ISOPAB. And he is the past editor of many journals and Jogi also. And he has written many books as it is uh, given in the this thing, um, uh, CV, Bedside Clinics in Obstetrics, Bedside Clinics in Gynecology, and uh, other uh, manuals, illustrated manuals. And he has also, he is also the invited faculty, uh, faculty of the various national and international conferences. Thank you first, sir, for being with us. We just want to hear some pulse of wisdom from you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Fun. Welcome, sir. So I am honored to invite very distinguished person, uh, Secretary General ISOPAR, Dr. Pragya Mishra. Madam, your expertise and experience will undoubtedly provide us with valuable knowledge and pers perspective on ensuring better maternal and child health. She needs no introduction. She is a very well-known figure. She is a current, uh, consultant infertility specialist with special interest in fetal medicine. She is past chairperson genetic and fetal medicine committee Foxy, secretary general ISOPAR from 2020 to 24, secretary and founder secretary Bihar chapter ISAR, vice president Patna Ops and Gaini Society 2021 to 2020, secretary Patna and Ops Gaini Society 2019-20, and impart Foxy certified colposcopy uh, training. She is examiner for MRCOG clinical examination. She has awarded so many awards and she is organizing secretary of Foxy's path Dempon 2018 Patna and organizing secretary of 24 Voxcon 2014 and scientific chairperson ISOPAR annual conference Patna 2016. Madam, we are eager to hear pulse of wisdom yeah. from you. Um, Seema for such a kind introduction. Um, just a bit at uh, the outset, I would like to thank Dr. Um, especially Dr. Archana Verma for uh, having invited me and included me in the second episode of uh, Happy Healthy Pregnancy webinar, and um, which is uh, being uh, organized by 
um, uh, West UP chapter of Isopark along with Mathura of Zentai Society. And a few months ago, I think she um, organized it uh, with some other society. I think it was Ghaziabad of Zenkaini Society. Upper, upper. Yeah. Upper, upper. So, um, uh, so thank you so much. So President uh, Dr. Arup Maji, uh, Chief Guest Dr. Leela Blas, uh, and Guest of Honor Dr. Niharika Malhotra, then the two, um, and the main uh, well, convener Dr. Archana Varma for this program, and the um, uh, moderators um, for today, uh, Dr. Agarwal and Dr. Archana Sharma and um, and all those well important people who have logged in and who are contesting for chairpersons this time in Foxy, Dr. Dikalpana, Dr. Suman Sinha. I'm quite delighted to see all of you and uh, well uh, and Dr. Deepika Chhabra from uh, Jackson Pal. So um, please forgive me if I've not taken any names. Well, um, as you know that um, this um, ISO Park, which is the Indian Society of Perimetology and uh, Reproductive Biology. Uh, this is the only professional organization in the whole country which um, is uh, dedicated towards um, perimetology. We have um, uh, so many others, you know, for, well, for infertility, we have many. But for perinatology, this is the only um, professional organization. So it's a very good platform where, you know, we can um, uh, share our experiences, our knowledge, and, you know, so that we can improve the health of the mother and the newborn baby. So that was the whole idea with which, you know, um, a group of people in 1978, Dr. Kamla Chand, um, and, and people from Kolkata had started this um, Indian Society of Perinatology and Reproductive Biology. And, and since, you know, Patna is the birthplace and the head office, so I feel quite privileged to be the Secretary General of this organization. And I'm quite happy and delighted to see bloom like anything and with the dynamic people like Dr. Archana Varma, the founder and uh, secretary of the West UP chapter and uh, which is one of the dynamic chapters of ISOPA and uh, you know as of now we have almost 32, 33 chapters of ISOPA. And ISOPAB is just um, blooming, you know, it's and with the, the motto of the last president, Dr. Gangadhar Sahu, um, who said, uh, uh, let's walk the talk and let's um, take ISOPAB to the doorstep. And that's what, you know, we all are trying to do, taking ISOPAB to the doorstep so that even, you know, doctors in the periphery and patients in the periphery are benefited, not just the people, doctors and the patients in the urban areas. So that's the whole idea. And it's really nice, you know, that and so we have such dynamic presidents and secretaries of these chapters who are striving their best, you know, to take it to a great heights. So and uh, so and I, I really like the program that, you know, which you have today. Um, I mean, it's slightly different, though, but of course, uh, um, uh, um, I mean, you have in what uh, laparoscopic surgeons, uh, uh, and uh, IVF uh, specialists, so slightly different, but of course, isopap is perinatology and reproductive biology, so um, uh, that's um, justified. And so I hope I wish you all of you the best um, for this program, and I'm sure all the viewers are going to uh, benefit, you know, from today's program. And uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, inviting me and making me a part of this uh, program. So happy um, uh, and uh, happy learning for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pragya. So the idea is to make everybody aware of the isoperb and isoperb ideology. And let's this feeling of uh, making happy family goes reached. It must go to each and everybody's even remote areas and they must be connected because this is not a different one. It is because majority of the time we are almost always in our my internal like artery is a something every obstetrician dream of doing it and learning about it and then the role of progesterone in saving the pregnancy. Thank you. Especially IVF pregnancy. Now, uh, thank you, madam. Uh, now, I request Dr. Archana Verma to please uh, welcome our uh, chief guest. Grand welcome with open heart and open arms to my dear friend, Dr. Leela Vyas. You know, 
Yeah, though she is a professor, she is at a she is hold very very big post, but she is very genuine, very down to earth, and a real person. She is a real foxian. You know, she is been uh, our when I was a chairperson, she was my vice president in two thousand and eighteen, and then I saw her working hard. This working hard is something. You know, everybody says I really work hard, but. those people uh, sometimes everybody says but do we really do or uh, we are above the expectation of everybody so that is a main thing and to work for your family for your patient and so dynamically and maintaining the balance is such such, such a important thing and then uh, when nowadays there is so much of uh, uh, this uh, uh, tension everywhere even then if you find somebody smiling so that means they are have a big control over their mind and heart also so that that thing we really need and uh, because uh, it was, uh, she was uh, even uh, she uh, dr leela vyas has worked and she is so much uh, she is a uh, cosmetic gynecology surgeon also and uh, she was a president of narchi also and uh, head of the department in sms uh, medical college jaipur and um, and she is heading the rajasthan uh, isar ch uh, chairperson post also and uh, manita coordinator in from rajasthan so that means she is working really hard ek baki to wo khud hi bolenge apne liye but i just want to say ki uh, nowadays uh, as a foxy we have our uh, great dynamic foxy president dr hd pai and unka jo ek motto hai badlav so that is something really a uh, badlav means a change you know अगर आप कुछ भी काम कितना ही कर लीजिए बदलाव से ज्यादा कठिन काम कोई नहीं है और ये जो मैं बात कह रही हूँ हार्डवर्क की एक के लिए दो लाइन में डॉक्टर लीला व्यास के लिए बहुत अच्छे से कहना चाहती हूँ और ऑल टू ऑल अवर फ्रेंड्स जो रियली हार्डवर्क करते हैं दे शुड फील हैप्पी एक सपना हर आदमी एक सपना देखता है कि आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस एंड दिस एंड दिस इज माई विजन दिस इज माई मिशन तो एक सपना जादू से हकीकत नहीं बन सकता जादू से हकीकत नहीं बन सकता इसमें पसीना डर संकल्प और कड़ी मेहनत लगती है तभी कुछ निकल के आता है सो वेलकम डॉक्टर लीला व्यास लेट्स सी व्हाट इज योर ओपिनियन अबाउट आवर प्रोग्राम अबाउट योर विजन इन फॉक्सी बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ नेक्स्ट लीडर लीडर इन फॉक्सी लेट्स हियर यू रियली एट द आउटसेट थैंक यू वेरी मच For to Isopa for inviting me, and really I uh, pay my gratitude to Professor Arup Kumar and Pragya. Really, you are the secretary who is the national secretary giving me this opportunity and calling me as a, uh, a chief guest. That is, it's an honor for me. Archana ji, you are the one of the person you best known Isopa when she was starting. We were talking about. No, no, I am going to show you something different. we worked together uh, she was uh, chairperson and i was vice <coughs> president chairperson at three years basically they are privileged to have three years vice president has only the one year to work to do and uh, archana ji was a very much uh, popular chairperson aap sochiye when uh, you all must be knowing all the foxy workers that ki hum teen ek president ke paas panch vice chairperson chairperson jane hain so uh, our president dr jaydeep malhotra she asked me just you give choice now i put archana ke the yaar chhod archana mere sath hai so you can imagine that archana has been in our tenure taken by the president not by the vice president so hamari to kismat hi nahi khuli so this is it but yes uh, this is uh, one of the personal thing which which i have just explored but uh, really thank you very much archana ji for giving this for your kind words yes i know that uh, we all are working hard and definitely this is the mantra for that if we are coming for any of uh, our society work then definitely so so looking towards the soul uh, galaxy of all i, I would like to say that those who are here they all are hard workers that's why they are giving their time so uh, really thank you to arjuna ji president then our uh, archana sharma again that secretary of isoba based on up then uh, mathura society mathura society and seema also seema you were taking this charge really uh, uh, i convey my thanks to you mathura society yes now this foxy and other sister associations there was a one uh, we had a, in a one uh, 
meeting there. So is our president was saying ki whether we, we call our um, Foxy to what? A brother's, uh, brother's society or the... Then Dr. Suchita Mandi said, no, it is a parent society. So the, from the parent society, we all other sister and brother societies are there. And everyone is working very hard. And that's why these programs can be run. And in this, the promotion of a happy, healthy pregnancy. And this, I think this is the episode number two. Pragya ji, really, I congratulate you that under your secretaryship, these presidents, these are doing. And Archana is always a person who brings something new. So all uh, this uh, uh, team uh, mates of that means uh, our uh, other Janeha Kota, Seema, Seema, I've already named you that Archana Goel is there, Renu Goel uh, is there. So all are working in Gajabad society and West UP society and all you are working very hard. Mathura, yes, Mathura society, really I congratulate you that you all are actually participants. There were only the A grade societies which were coming forward, but now all the B and C societies are also coming to. I'm not grading, it's just with the number of persons. So why we were calling at that the, the society means you have a very less number of persons, but you all are very active. And this active and enthusiastic persons are required everywhere. Whether you are, which once any, we say that this is the C society, means the numbers are around 20 only. So these 20 persons have that courage to make a society and then come forward. Initially, what was going on that we are attached to some bigger city society and then what was the loss in that? They were not able to come because if one day the uh, workshop is tapped or any of the CME is going on, you are not getting even chance for that. And secondly, once if you get chance, something happened because being the obstetrician, you always stuck last moment in your emergencies. So uh, the, this uh, making a society and then coming in and thanks to Ketana Buriji, this is the COVID ka day that we all are meeting virtually. And this has been continuously going on. So we all, and I see that here, uh, even Suman Zina, she is coming here, that President Rachi of Sindhani Society, she is coming. And uh, then other person, uh, Gunjan Pulati, she is there, she is uh, one of the speaker. And one, another person, that is a Jay Mehta. Uh, whether Jay, you are joined or not, I don't know. Uh, uh, Jay Mehta, ko toh, abhi aisa ho rakha hai ki ye, Foxy ka, I think he's like that. He, yes, he is coming and he's doing and he's a very energetic person. The topics, Arjuna which and the whole uh, Isopap Society, West Zone UP Isopap Society and that Madhra Society, you have taken that internal in that. Yes, this is the topic to be repeated. So, Jay is a laparoscopic surgeon. He has a very broad view. He can show that how it looks. The problem, what occurs, everyone knows the anatomy. But in while doing cesarean, you require that in obstetrically, uh, this condition where you require means not of uh, preventive. If you are going with the preventive before starting your cesarean, yes, it is easy. You go and then uh, trace the internal like artery and uh, uh, ligate. But if anything happens and afterwards you are, as a therapeutic measure you are taking, then definitely you should have that picture in your mind Yes, all something is that much, that much, but I can reach with uh, according to my uh, knowledge and the picture which we have made in our uh, mind. So by laparoscopically, yes, that the picture can be stored in our brain so we can reach at that time. Then another, the uh, progesterone in IVF, yes, definitely the IVF pregnancy, IVF numbers are increasing the, as the number of these uh, cases are increased. We are, I think, 15 to 17 percent of the cases. Uh, uh, of uh, infertility we are facing. And this thing is to be how to the genuine, means judicious use of progesterone. That is required. Likhne ko sab hai, ek, dao, teen. It's vaginal, oral, gel, injectable. Every progesterone is given, but what is the judicious use of progesterone? Because it's not always safe. Yes, we say ki thoda jata denge to kya hoga? But it's ke side effects we are, that we have to face. And that's why the judicious use of that and again, the chairpersons and expert, expert you have chosen that Dr. Poonam Varva, yes, she is, uh, I think, uh, 
in par excellence in obstetrics. She can, I mean, in emergency obstetrics and all complication of obstetrics and TPS especially, she can tackle anyhow and she can give the guidelines and, uh, and she can give the tips to anyone that any time if we are asking her. Then our chairpersons, other chairperson, Sumanji, Komal and Kalpana, yes, all the best. You all are coming, duck, duck, duck. Every year for the last three months, since I think uh, we all are struggling for these things. Yes, it is not bad if you are every time calling us, Ki mujhe vote dijiye. yes, because we want to work. So those who want to work, they are coming forward. Yes, kuch mein hota hai ki they can spare their time from their practice, from their uh, family, and then coming for the society and working. If you will say, ki, yadi, are, yaar, kya karna hai, election ladke, kya nahi karna hai, so how the society is will run. Yes, everyone has that right to contest for any of the post, and everyone has to work hard, and then they can uh, go with the, uh, their uh, success in their endeavors. So all, if I forget anyone's name, please forgive me. But uh, the whole team of this IPOPA, ISOPA, West, uh, West UP, I in advance congratulate. Now last, I'll say Niharika. Niharika uh, was a joint secretary when I was vice president. And uh, Archana Ji Masvina, and she was a small kid in front of us. So where, where are you, uh, Niharika? Niharika really, uh, uh, I love you. Because you work so hard with us. We probably talked about Jaydeep and said, you do all this. So this was, and we were interacted means I think 17, 18 was the year when we enjoyed a lot and we all as worked as a whole family. And really, Niyarika, uh, congratulations uh, for your very successful uh, year which you have done in a joint secretary, then your uh, this uh, chairperson tenure that you are really to, you yourself is very talented and young and definitely you have done very nice work and again the um, best wishes for your future endeavors. Thank you, thank you very much for calling me in this uh, your program. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Leela, Madam. And that's why I'm very cool and relaxed. Our chief guest is also our own. They are uh, uh, taking <laughs> everybody together. Together we can do much better. And Niharika, yes, I want to say this. Just see this difference, see this change. She was joint secretary, very young, very neighbor. But she, uh, uh, it is was the impact of a very empowered uh, our leader dr jadi palotra she took uh, work from each and everybody and the joint secretary was working 24 hours 7 and <laughs> thank you madam and dr leela dr archana uh, varma for uh, giving us so much nice words and uh, blessings now i'll uh, um, invite dr seema vashne to please uh, introduce our uh, guest of honor, Dr. Yes, Niharika Malhotra. It is now uh, it is now my pleasure to invite. Rather, I am delighted to invite a very special guest of this evening, Dr. Niharika Malhotra. She is known for the for her multi talented personality and having extraordinary speaking skills with vast knowledge and experience. Uh, she is a cons consultant Rainbow IVF. She is chairperson Foxy Young Talent Promotion Committee 2022-2022. She joint secretary Foxy 2018, and she is assistant editor general of IJHRRD. She is an active you, member. Thank you so much, ma'am. And, and uh, we would like to hear you, your valuable inputs. You are invited and you are most welcome. And I'm if so you have sorry. added, you have added a great value in this evening. And despite of your endless, uh, thank, thank you so much for coming. I'm feeling so emotional today because uh, two of my uh, most inspiring mentors are here, Rajna Varma, ma'am, and Leela, ma'am. And aap dono ke saath maine jo journey share kariye tab be joint secretary thi. And you know, imagine from being a master of ceremony to a speaker and today I'm standing as guest of honor and this is because I had wonderful people like you all around me to motivate me and inspire me and this beautiful journey of Foxy I've made 
such a huge family seema ma'am is here mathura society aligarh society all up societies have you know considered me as their daughter and it feels so special that just from an organization i have a huge family all over india and i know with one phone call i'll be welcomed in any city in india and that's what this organization has given to us only small things i would like to say here is that together we are always stronger and together is something where we cannot be broken and together is where we can achieve heights and ye maine archana ma'am se hi sikha hai jab tak hum saath saath nahi chalenge tab tak hum aage nahi badhenge jaise jab west up isopa bana tha archana ma'am was the first one to bring all of us in this organization and you know push us to bring more people bond with each other and bring this family to greater heights and that's what we have done isopab is now growing under dr pragya mishra dr gangadhar sahu sir ne bhi bahut efforts liye hain and i think we'll see a drastic change now in isopab and it will now reach to newer heights Mathura Society, Aligarh, Hapur, Muradabad, Alwar—all these societies, which are said to be smaller societies, are doing much more work than any other category A society. So they all should be congratulated in being so actively involved in organizing CMEs, webinars, etc. And I am truly, truly grateful today, and I heartily congratulate all of you for today's program. and also wish all the best to all those who are contesting for foxy elections mera sabko pranam and thank you for having me here thank you thank you everybody and thank you all the dignitaries for being with us uh, in this uh, session so wonderful webinar we are going to start and now we are going to start our first um, academic session uh, madam uh, dr arjuna verma let us start this academic session Dr. Neera Bhan, our own lovely senior gynecologist of Ghaziabad and NCI, and she is a graduate of Lady Harding Medical College, MRCOG, FRCOG, London. She is a senior obstetrician, a visiting consultant at Columbia Asia Neshoda Hospital. She uh, had a diploma in advanced endoscopic surgery from France and fellow of the Indian College of the Maternal and Child Health. and uh, fellow indian academy of the medical specialties she has also written uh, many chapters in the books and published papers and she is trained at the wipps cross university hospital london and trained in the endoscopic surgery at the nepion hospital internal ileic ligation has always been such an important um, <clears throat> procedure in open surgery when we are faced with intractable pph But these days, laparoscopic internal ileic ligation has become very important as, firstly, a prophylactic method in myomectomies. When we are doing myomectomies for large fibroids in girls who are desirous of childbearing, so uh, prophylactic internal ileic prophylactic uterine artery ligation has become very popular, and as a therapeutic measure, of course. internal ileic ligation when there is during any surgery uh, let us say hysterectomy if there is a uh, uh, intractable bleed so emergency internal ileic ligation is of course very important so mm -hmm. this is a technique i think all of us must master who are doing laparoscopic surgery um, electively in cases because the day you have an intractable hemorrhage you won't be able to do it for the first time with all that bleeding there so uh, it's very important to know the anatomy and uh, basically there are different approaches of um, uh, uh, you know places you can open but i feel the easiest and the most uh, practical is if you <clears throat> take the round ligament and the infundibular ligament uh, infundibular pelvic ligament between them if you hold the uh, fold of peritoneum and dissect it so that you can see the ureter and you can see the bifurcation of the common ileic into the lateral uh, external ileic and the medial internal ileic and uh, external ileic artery say just medial external ileic vein hoti hai and internal ileic runs medially 
and inferiorly from there, the internal iliac artery, which you have to ligate. And uh, the bifurcation of the common iliac is crossed by the ureter mm -hmm. from lateral to medial. So these are these vital structures. When we take the internal iliac artery, we have to be really careful that inadvertently we should not injure the external iliac way in which is just lateral to the internal iliac artery. And we should not be entering the ureter. So identifying the ureter at the pelvic rim from and tracing it down to the ureteric tunnel is very, very important. And this internal iliac artery divides, gives off the posterior branch about three centimeters after its origin from the bifurcation of common iliac. So when we do the internal iliac ligation, we are actually ligating the anterior division of the internal iliac, which gives off the uterine artery. And this should be ligated about three to four centimeters away from the origin. And this can, ligation can be done in different ways. Uh, either you can, you know, with a mixture of forceps or a right angle mm -hmm. forceps, you can take it below the artery like this and take uh, <clears throat> black silk and tie it. Tie it at two places. You don't need to cut the internal eyelid. Or there are these clips these days which you can apply. And or else you can take it with a bipolar and coag a segment of it. Bipolar forceps, you can coagulate. So uh, people do it with harmonic also, uh, just coagulating, not cutting. But I think bipolar or uh, suturing. So you should be good with your surgical knots through the leproscope. And um, this decreases the, if you do a bilateral internal iliac ligation, it would decrease the blood flow to the, pel uh, to the uterus by about 49 to 50%. So that takes care of a majority of the bleeding. So this is one thing which is invasive, but to be very honest, this can only be done if you have immense expertise. So what I do in practice for my myomectomies, is two things. One is injecting vasopressin diluted into the myoma. That really works well. As far as I've seen one ampule of vasopressin diluted in 200 ml of normal saline and you inject into that large myoma about 60 to 70 ml and that blunches the uh, fibroid. So subsequently the bleeding is much less. Of course you have to your anesthetic colleague that you are giving Watch out the heart rate. You must always draw the lens into a vessel before you finally push the syringe. And second thing is giving a GNRH analog. So you product 3.75 subcutaneously um, about a week or a few weeks before the myomectomy. The disadvantage of Luprodex, of course, advantage is that you have minimal blood loss, but the disadvantage is the plane of the fibroid. The capsule that becomes a little inconspicuous, it undergoes a sort of a cystic degeneration. So taking it out with a myoma screw is not as easy as it is if it's a firm fibroid. But then at the end, you're doing for a young girl who wants babies, you don't want bleeding, you don't want to end up in a hysterectomy. So I find it very good to give a pre-op, you know, <coughs> Luprodex and injecting vasopressin. So Although I practiced internal like ligation, but I never had the uh, to do it. But I guess you should be equipped with it. I invite Dr. Komal Chavan, a prominent and accomplished individual. Her expertise and dedication to the field make her in an invaluable addition to our webinar. Dr. Komal and Chavan, she is chairperson Foxy Medical Disorder in Pregnancy. Uh, committee 2019 to 2022. She is zonal coordinator for Foxy President 22 to 23. And she is core committee with cell Foxy 22 to 23. Uh, she is chairperson AMOX Family Welfare and MTP Committee 22 to 24. She is member of Managing Council MOX. Joint Secretary ISOPAR Mumbai Chapter. She is scientific secretary AFG. She is national expert for Foxy UNICEF Laksha project, national trainer for Foxy Dhira and RAC project. She is convener Foxy uh, 
Guinness World Record, uh, Guinness World uh, World of Record, twenty one, uh, and uh, from uh, she's an editorial board journal of uh, Global of St. Guiney, and peer reviewer of Suffolk Journal, publication in publication in international and national journals. She's edited twelve books and 10 newsletters. She, is she has edited co and contributed chapters to Foxy Focus, newsletter, and textbook. She is very hardworking, and she has re received so many prizes and awards uh, in her accolades. So may I invite Dr. Komal and Chavan to um, please give your insight, your vision in Foxy, and we are eager to hear you, and the mic is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. And at the outset, I thank Archana Verma, Madam. I think Archana Verma, Madam, as uh, with the UP West, I, she is doing a fabulous work. Right from the time when we started the UP West, I think I was there for the first program also. I was there for the Women's Day program and a lot of activities I have been associated with ISOPAR UP West. I'm also currently the Joint Secretary of Mumbai chapter of ISOPAR under the leadership of Dr. Suchitra Pandit. So I am an ISO Parbian, and I'm so happy here that Dr. Arup Kumar Maji, Dr. Pragya Mishra, our chief guest, Dr. Leela Vyas, Niharika, they all were here and they spoke so high about the organization, about the efforts and the work which everybody is doing. So my job today is to tell about my vision for Foxy. I have been working, I'm a hardcore Foxy, if I say. I work, whatever I work, I work with sincerity, dedication, and I give my 100% to it. So currently, as a coordinator for Foxy, we, I have been instrumental and in doing a lot of work for Foxy along the, with the Foxy's vision and mission. But now I am going for the post of vice president of Foxy. And I need everybody's support for that because I want to bring positive change in women's health empowerment. I want to work with dedication, commitment, upholding the ideas and values of Foxy, and you know, with collaboration with all the organizations like ISOPAR, like uh, you know uh, the AFG, which we have in Mumbai, or we have IMS. So we need to have collaborative efforts because we can't bring a, a difference. We can't make a difference if we don't, because all organizations are not working separately. They are working for a common cause. Second is a transparency. I want transparency. Whatever work is happening, each and every member has a right to know what work is going on, how much everybody is working. And inclusiveness. Include all the members together. We need to work together. It's not like if we work together, we are in a team. So teamwork also pays. So making everybody work is the best way to take our vision forward. And apart from this, I'm very active as uh, the Amox Family Welfare and MTP Committee. Maharashtra is the first state where we have got the, we have gone to the government and we have formed boards for MTP beyond 24 weeks. And I have been uh, giving representation to principal secretary. So I want to streamline the issues which our doctors are facing, whether it is related to MTP, or whether there are other issues related to the maintenance of forms like PCP and DT and other things. Also the LSCS rates, which are now uh, a concern and every uh, hospitals have got the circular. So I'm working closely along with the family welfare that uh, we, how, how do we go about and help our doctors regarding this LSCS rates. Second, the most important issue is the violence against doctor. You know, the doctors are facing a lot of violence. And I am the core committee member of Foxy Cell on Violence Against Doctor. And with along with Amox, we are representing our the director of general of police. Today I had an appointment with him. I went and met him personally, and I've represented the whole Maharashtra state so that the false cases or FIRs are not launched against doctors. So we really want our doctors to have a peaceful practice. They should not have a sword or something hanging around them that any time they would be implicated for some false case because what every doctor tries to do the best, everything in the best interest of patient. So we want to smooth all these things for our doctors and make their practice a very peaceful one. Apart from that, 
we will definitely continue the social work the campaign i think the public awareness work which dr archana varma has done is immense she has shown us the vision and view how to go about and do this awareness campaign so we will continue all the awareness campaigns all the conferences workshops training of members training of the trainers everything all that will go on and i really want to bring this positive change and take poxy to a newer heights along with the leadership of president and the office bearers other office bearers of foxy i we all should work together in peace and harmony and that will definitely make a difference so thank you thank you for inviting me and asking me to share my visions i hope uh, i am i am convincing and i hope you all join me with my vision and the elections are just near the corner it is on the 1st of august you are going to get a personalized voting link so i request everybody to please vote because that is your right every vote is important and every vote will make a difference so please do vote and support me for the vice president post from the west zone there are two votes in the west zone so i really want your one vote and so that we can all work together and take the vision forward thank you so much for inviting me thank you archana madam thank you mathura all the societies i think they are uh, very active thank you thank you all of you who have, whoever have joined i can see so many people i can see suman i can see gunjan gulati seema dr seema is here dr renu goel dr neera i think i am i am actually there is a lot of rain in mumbai and i am trying to reach but i am on my way dr archana sharma namaste so namaste to everybody whoever i can see dr renu goel so thank you so much dr neha poddar dr archana ji dhanyawad man se dhanyawad dil se dhanyawad thank you thank you i just want to say very nice message by komal our new budding uh, leader and uh, i just uh, really this trust and love this can bring difference even you can make a wild animal sit down in front of you if you uh, know the trick of uh, just uh, doing a, a good care nobody forgets a good caring hands and uh, attitude just remember that and never uh, 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 say any uh, never try to do any backbiting or uh, this friendship yes. should always be on hamesha yes. friendship mode ko on rakho yes i know thank you thank you madam lovely words and definitely we will you are always guiding us and we always want you to guide yeah, us she is a one person so komal when i entered foxy <laughs> her husband a big shot in foxy she was always supporting me archana madam aap bilkul mat ghabrana aap bilkul ghabrana yes. <laughs> nahi nahi kabhi nahi hum hamesha saath mein saath mein hain saath saath chalenge to this is that is very important saath saath chalenge to aage badhenge that is very no, I important i like that message by niharika yes thank you dr everybody komal. here komal everybody here is a vip uh, <laughs> real gem real gem and uh, they are the people who will definitely bring uh, uh, going to bring a great difference in everybody's life i am sure yes thank you thank you madam thank you so much thank you dr komal your nice perspective and uh, vision in foxy and wish you a very good luck for your elections may i now welcome dr suman sinha she is having a wealth of knowledge and experience she is an eminent figure in the medical community she is very hard worker and uh, she is president ranchi of gaini society senior consultant at ahipf and infertility research center ranchi she is director advanced care and maternity center ranchi vice president uh, so sopsi society of vaginal surgeon of india bihar and jharkhand chapter she is executive member euro gynae committee foxy she is executive member national isopad uh, in her accolade she is organizing san foxy east zone conference with yuva uh 2022 she has publications in national and international uh, infect journals foxy dheera and achievements award 2022 dr durusha appreciation award 
2008 and Kumar's award in Coal India National Conference. She has nominated for International MS Signature Award and she has a special interest in high-risk pregnancy, vaginal surgeries and endoscopy surgery. So uh, I welcome uh, Dr. Suman Sina and uh, we want to hear you. Uh, good evening, everybody. Respected National President ISOPAP, Dr. Arup Kumar Maji, sir, Secretary General ISOPAP, Dr. Pragya Mishra Chaudhary, Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Leela Bias, Madam, Chief Convener, President West ISOPAP Chapter, and the dynamic immediate past Vice President Foxy, our revered guest of honor, Dr. Neharika Malhotra, the entire organizing team of ISOPAP and Mathura Chapter of Foxy. Um, I extend my warmest gratitude and regards to all of you for giving me this very prestigious platform. And I have been asked and given a task to present to you what will be my vision if I am selected as a leader in Foxy. So to be very frank, I'm already a leader being the president of my society. And I have been a very grassroots worker. I started my work in uh, Rachi of Stratton Organic Society from the very uh, joint secretary gradually arose over to the secretary level, then the vice president, and pre then I became the president of this very prestigious society. And I worked very hard. And this year, I had the opportunity to organize a very uh, important national conference that is UA Foxy East June. And it had a lot of epilogues, a lot of um, appreciation for my uh, uh, this work. Now, I, with folded hands, request you all to select me to work in Foxy. And now what will be my vision if I'm selected there? So my first vision will be, I'll work with full dedication and faith. My focus will remain dedicated to treat women's gynecological conditions using the safest and most conservative approaches vaginally, revisit and restructure the options of vaginal surgeries will be my priority. I will sensitize and empower a younger gynecologist to adopt the art of vaginal surgeries and not to make a forgotten art. Mentoring and training will also be my priority to our members and teach them in tips and tricks of vaginal surgeries through physical and also through virtual workshops. I'll be easily approachable and remain connected to all my fellow workers. So now I seek the opinion and blessings of our mentors and seniors. Always, it will be my priority and I will embark upon the path laid by them. So why so much focus on vaginal surgeries? As you all know, this is a very new committee and this will be uh, our first uh, uh, platform to work in this committee. So uh, I have to work very hard to make it, uh, to focus it and to make it uh, very uh, known to each and every one. So I will take a uh, lot of, uh, I mean, uh, work is needed and I'm sure I'm going to do it. So why so much focus? Because it provides a safer and proven alternatives with uh, numerous patients benefits compared to traditional and open lab surgery. And this is time tested procedure. Uh, it requires shorter hospital stay, faster recovery, and return to normal activity. It needs less post-operative pain. There is no visible scarring, and it gives a cosmetic benefit, which is uh, we all uh, women are fond of it. There is less blood loss. There is lower rates of infection, and early ambulation prevents venous thrombosis. So we see so much benefit. So it was really this uh, committee was required in our Foxy. And I'm there. I need your support and blessings always. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Soman Sena, and for your uh, valuable inputs about the vaginal surgeries. And uh, I wish you uh, all the best and very uh, good wishes from Ghaziabad uh, for your elections. So looking forward to see you. As thank, you thank you all. Thank you. <laughs> I really need your blessings. Thank you, Dr. Yes, thank you, uh, uh, Suman. Thank you so much. And I just want to say, uh, when I met uh, uh, Suman, I really thought 
uh, oh, just she was standing somewhere. I went to her. Uh, I I like you. <laughs> I think you are looking very dedicated person. So when I went, then she was whole uh, just organizing west. Uh, no, sorry, east zone. You were foxy, and the way she managed everything was superb. And I think till date. that uh, with the dr basab mukherjee as a vice president it was the best uh, you uh, you are foxy and she was a main organizing secretary and a great great girl ek saadi pehen ke maine bahut din tak photo khicha khicha ke sundar si ghoom rahi thi and she presented me that also and i she, she, and i gave my second oration also of uh, over there and it uh, just before a presidential oration so that was one thing i will always remember because she is a most beautiful girl from inner side and i really wish whatever happens who ever but make her uh, win and uh, we will all go together to ranchi once again yes madam most welcome all of you please come to ranchi abhi our next uh, from gaziabad is archana sharma and then next will be the seema so archana sharma uh, will uh, take care of everybody thank you now it's honor to invite dr b kalpana may i have the cd please she is a renowned expert in her field uh, she is md fnb phd msc fiicog fiaog and fics she is national coordinator in fertility committee for the uh she has done course director for post doctor and uh, doctoral fellowship in uh, endogynecology and she is affiliated to dr mgr medical university she infertility committee chairperson tn fog she is secretary mox secretary madurai chapter of at uh, tepsar and ec member infertility committee 2017 to 19 she is she is south zone coordinator and uh, she is uh, endometriosis committee uh, coordinator 2014 to 16 now over to you dr b kalpana and we are uh, eager to hear your uh, vision in foxy and she is a young uh, yeah, foxy aspirant so mike is yours dr bikalpana yes. uh, and and she will uh, she doesn't understand hindi that is a main thing but i tell you <laughs> whatever you say Uh, she is a just now organizing secretary of uh, south zone you are foxy and i am uh, just unluckily i am not going there and if anybody of you going there just talk to her and she is a most wonderful host also i have never seen a, a good host like her and uh, from south especially i, I just want to say uh, ranchi wale bilkul dare nahi so so kalpana is a good big house big farm house big 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 and uh, we all, will all go there so please uh, kalpana just say uh, uh, just see how important and the information we have about everybody okay um thank you so much archana verma ma'am and also uh, seema ma'am for your introduction actually in the invitation i saw that as a chat person i misunderstood anyway and this program uh, is not a new one for us already we have done one program with the west uh, up chapter isopab and also ytp committee under the guidance of archana verma and this is a second of opportunity i am getting uh, because of arjuna verma ma'am and also isopar i thank all the leaders of isopar um, the president and secretary for organizing such a wonderful program and also in association with the mathura uh, society the uh, hard work uh, by the president archana sharma ma'am and rashmi goyal ma'am should also be recognized here uh, we had wonderful blessings from our seniors uh, leela vyas ma'am uh, and neharika malhotra ytp committee chairperson they all uh, uh, really told uh, Uh, how much hard work is really needed in foxy and uh, you all understand that we have been doing that over almost a decade and also uh, jyoti agarwal madam's blessing is also really important um, this program is really successful because of uh, uh, achana verma's guidance and uh, let me introduce myself 
I'm Dr. Uh, B. Kalpana and um, uh, basically I'm a fertility, a fertility consultant with highest possible qualification in infertility and embryology. So my passion and profession is infertility and embryology. The, this is uh, quite unique that uh, the clinician would not have embryology degree, but I've been trained in uh, infertility, uh, done fellowship in reproductive medicine, and also I've got MSc embryology degree and the, and also PhD in infertility. So highly qualified uh, fertility consultant. My passion and profession is infertility. So that only I wanted to enter uh, specifically into infertility committee. And as far as FOGSI is concerned, FOGSI um, work is not new to me. I've been uh, attached to various FOGSI committees for the past uh, one decade. I started my journey with uh, Ramani Devi Madam as South zone coordinator of endometriosis committee and I really enjoyed and worked hard with Ramani madam and then I'm associated with infertility committee almost for the past six years and for the past two years I'm the national coordinator of uh, infertility committee and uh, I hope I have done justice for the post which had been given to me. You must have seen various fern to petal workshop which has been done across India and which is very popular. Uh, so uh, now I'm humbly seeking you uh, for your support and vote for uh, my candidature as infertility committee chairperson for Z. And let me uh, tell few words about my vision and mission uh, what can be done in infertility. Uh, first, uh, uh, when we think about infertility, uh, the confusion about ART bill is uh, immediately coming to our mind because many of the um, junior gynecologists or uh, who are do doing ovulation induction or doing a um, surrogacy program are in trouble. And uh, so we should implement ART bill uh, very smoothly. Uh, it should be acceptable in rural area also. That should be done uh, under the guidance of FOGSI leaders. That is my uh, vision, first uh, vision and mission. The other uh, problem uh, in infertility is as far as the insurance companies are considered, it is the infertility is not considered as a disease and it is not covered under any, uh, most of the insurance. So um, I will take effort, the my policy is no women should be denied of infertility treatment just because the couple doesn't have money. So infertility should also be covered under all uh, TPA. That is my second uh, vision. And the, the third one is collective learning. Because uh, when we have knowledge about uh, reproductive medicine, many of the clinicians do not know the basics of embryology. So embryology should also be brought into the curriculum of fellowship in reproductive medicine. So clinicians should have basic knowledge about embryology. And quality control is really important as far as infertility and and ART uh, practice is considered because then only we can maintain a very reasonable success rate in infertility. So uh, training for uh, paramedical staff is also really important to maintain our, our own success rate. And also we need uh, more embryologists uh, to help us to maintain our uh, success rate. So training for embryologists is also really important needed in the field of uh, infertility and also as far as the gynecologist is considered uh, even the rural uh, practitioner should be able to handle infertility couple in a reasonable way so we need to organize uh, some uh, training programs to improve their knowledge about basics of infertility and at the same time fine-tuning of uh, knowledge about uh, advanced reproductive 
active medicine in uh, in doctors who are doing uh, IVF and the advanced management is really needed. So these are all my vision and mission. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, you will support me. You all will support me. Uh, if you feel that I'm an eligible candidate and uh, you know my uh, passion and profession is uh, infertility for the past 25 years. So I hope I'm an eligible candidate with folded hands. I request you to support me for my candidature as infertility committee chairperson. Oh, thank you, Kalpana. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a quite a good, heavy, impactful vision. And so infertility you know this uh, this i want to say that this friendship prevails i have i never met uh, that by that time uh, it was covid going on so uh, my son had to go to uh, chennai uh, for that visa verification and it was at uh, that covid was in peak time so then i called uh, the kalpana ki my kids are going and if they have some problem please look after them they won't be able to tell because it was a days of fever and all everything so i said hey, please take care and then uh, you know she just provided so much a uh, great hospitality uh, that uh, i just cannot forget she gave her car driver for two days and then she asked uh, them then not to go by flight because the covid uh, problem will be more and then she gave her uh, car and driver they go by that so her driver uh, went to uh, till bangalore uh, uh, from chennai to bangalore they went by car so that that was one thing i will never forget in my life because i was really wavering uh, with uh, so much of a problem there that my son because he was having uh, just had a, some problem few days back uh, and but that thing was so important and i was not able to go and she took over uh, this so this this post and everything to go. you know this post and everything it, it, they are just simple thing only the friendship is forever mm -hmm. And we should remember that it is the friends, friends who make you, who always uplift you. Whatever the condition, whatever is the need, whatever. A friend कभी कोई छोटा या बड़ा नहीं होता. They are all equal. This equality, sense of equality and sense of uh, no regionalism is something we need to understand. Thank you, thank you, Doctor Kalpana, for your very nice perspective about the infertility. Because you have very well said that uh, everybody should know the basics of infertility, even at the rural uh, level. So thank you yeah, very much, Doctor Jaisar. Again, very uh, all the best for your uh, uh, elections, and looking forward to see you uh, as a person in an infertility committee. thank you madam thank you for thank your you. you are having thank such a much. versatile personality that's why i'll say ki <laughs> matlab like you will definitely win that is the Arun, arup sir aa gaye welcome dr arup sir please seema arjuna thank you so just i have finished the physical talk and another thank webinar you sir thank you very much sir for um, this thing you have a very great person dr arup sir you know he is a one person a great great surgeon and matlab like i am so Uh, with folded hands sir namaskar pranam wonderful academician sir number of publications number of books number of chapters sir you have written thank you very much sir for coming and uh, giving your time for uh, this particular prestigious webinar which we are oh, organizing this is i super family going on i super family so please, sir, just we want to hear some of the so please give your words of blessings yes. uh, introduce sir ko ek baar sam good afternoon everybody Sir, now your oh, official introduction. I will. Uh, I, I'll be I'm really happy to see all of you. Uh, I have just. I'll be really privileged uh, and uh, to introduce you, sir. You are the professor Shanti Niketan Medical College, Bolpur, West Bengal, and past president Bengal OBGYN Society and past president Kolkata chapter of the ISUPAN. And uh, sir is the past editor of many journals, Jogi also, and he has written many books, chapters, invited faculty to so many national, international conferences. Uh, welcome you, sir, and you are the scientific committee co-chairperson AICOG twenty twenty three Kolkata. Thirty years of teaching experience, sir is the teacher of teachers actually, and examiners of UG, PG, and DN. 
welcome you, sir, for uh, uh, saying some of the nice words and pearl of wisdom. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Orchana, for your nice introduction. And really, really, I am very happy to see all of you because there are the three program consecutive and now is my own physical program now. And good afternoon, everybody, all esteemed isopathians and dear friends. The night to see that waste a chapter of isopar in association, the Mothura of Zgaini Society has organized second episode. I think this is the second episode of the promoting a happy, healthy pregnancy initiated by very, very dynamic, actually, this very uh, dynamic lady, the Dr. Archana Varma, now the president of OSTP ISOPAR. Congratulations, Dr. Varma, the chief convener for her enthusiasm. And today's chief guest is Leela Bhas, and guest of honor is uh, a very promising, uh, it's a very younger, but very promising Dr. Niharika Malhotra. So welcome, and this will be given uh, by Jyoti Agral and uh, and President Muthura. Three important sessions I have seen that the uh, one is the important is the entire iliac anatomy and like I said, very, very favorite subject, my that is, and that will be delivered none other than Dr. Joy Mehta, laparoscopic surgeon. And second is the let's talk by the Dr. Suman Sina, another very dynamic lady. Mm -hmm. And, doctor, and next is the progesterone protocols in IVF, Dr. Gunjan Gulati. So there are the three eminent speakers and all learned and experts, and all learned and experts and chairpersons, there is the, the, the galaxy of faculties is not possible to all the names are there. All of them very well known to everyone and with heart with me. Hope there will be very good discussion and enrichment of the knowledge and exchange of views in this session. I always, another thing, I also can inform you that I in welcome all of you to attend the midterm conference of the ISOPAR because ISOPAR follow up on the very growing, uh, uh, growing organization and EP chapter is by virtue of all of you is going rapidly. And so I welcome you to attend in the city of Joy, Kolkata in nine and 10 September midterm annual conference in Kolkata. And I will send also the invitation. Please block your dates on who are willing to. Uh, so with great success of the today's scientific meet, thank you all. Long live I super, long live I super, long live I super. Thank you for inviting me, important session. And it is great fortunate for me, lucky that I have and uh, I can attend this program. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. So we'll be going to start the third session. For this session, Amare Ghaziabad ki great diva and excellent academician, IVF expert, Dr. Gunjan Gulati. She is going to speak on progesterone protocols in IVF. Or uske liye we are here wonderful chairperson. So the CV of Dr. Neha Podar. Then Dr. Seema Vashne and Dr. Archana Goel from Meerut. So Dr. Neha Podar is a senior consultant and laparoscopic surgeon at Podar Nursing Home. And she's the past treasurer of the Gajiabad OBGY Society. An area of interest are mainly the laparoscopic uh, uh, surgeries, vaginal and urogyny surgery. Then uh, our uh, very well-known, lovely, very hardworking secretary, Dr. Seema Vashne. And she's the founder member and secretary West UP ISOPA. She's past president, secretary, chairperson, Gazibad OBGY Society, and lots of uh, awards to her credit. She's the best sportswoman. And the yoga coordinator of the IMA. And her field of interest is the high risk pregnancy and infertility. Then comes the Dr. Archana Goel, a very good friend of mine. She is the director of Siddhi Vinayak Medical Center, Merit and Secretary, ISOPAP Merit Chapter. She is also the executive member of Foxy Merit and executive member of the Women Doctor Wing Merit. And uh, so many awards to her credit and organized 38th Annual National Conference of ISOPAP 2023, hosted many other events of the medical conferences and seminars. 
and she is having a very rich experience of 20 years of ordinary and extraordinary cases. So welcome uh, our speaker and uh, uh, all the chairpersons. And uh, I will uh, invite Dr. Neha Pudar to please introduce the speaker. Dr. Thank you, thank you, Arshna, ma'am. Uh, it's my privilege and honor to introduce Dr. Gunjan Gulati. She has done her fellowship in minimal access surgery, fellowship in reproductive medicine. She is an alumni of Safdajan Hospital, New Delhi. She is a laparoscopic surgeon and an uh, IVF specialist. She is practicing at Medivin Hospital, Ghaziabad. She has published various scientific papers and done research over gynecological issues. Her main area of interest is minimally invasive surgery and IVF. Over to you, Dr. Gunjan. The topic that was given to me today was progesterone and IVF. To begin with, if I ask this question to all of you, do you all supplement your IVF cycles with progesterone? Um, I think the answer from all of us is definitely yes. We do supplement not only in IVF cycles, but also in the natural pregnancies. Today, we all are here to understand how and why are we doing that. To begin uh, the session today, I have brought this uh, menstrual cycle cartoon for all of you. Uh, I know we have all uh, read the menstrual cycle in our uh, post-graduation days, but a little recall would not harm us. So the starting or the beginning of the menstrual cycle is called the follicular phase. I'm starting from the very basic so that we can understand the facts. Uh, the estrogen meter is very, very low in the beginning. The hypothalamus will start secreting FSH in the beginning. And that is what causes the follicular development. We can see a very good purple looking follicle, which is all good and healthy, uh, you know, like a macho man, we can see that. Once the follicle has developed completely, the elite starts coming in and it will give a bang to this developing follicle to release the egg, which is called as ovulation. Once the ovulation happens, there is development of corpus luteum. In uh, effect of the LH pulses, the corpus luteum will then be forming progesterone. So we all know that the first follicular phase is happening in effect of estrogen and the luteal phase is maintained by the LH pulses uh, with the help of production of progesterone. If there is a pregnancy, the pro uh, progesterone uh, production will continue, the corpus luteum is sustained. However, if there is no pregnancy, the corpus luteum will degenerate and there'll be formation of corpus albicans. I'm sorry to take you through this basic slide, but then I, I'm sure it'll help us to understand the concepts of IVF much better. Moving on, this is just a simple slide again to depict the hormonal changes that happen during a menstrual cycle. We all can see that there is a increase in the FSH in the beginning and that is what is causing the development of the follicle and therefore the estrogen is uh, rising. Simultaneously near the ovulation, the LH rises and there is an LH surge. After the LH surge, roughly 36 hours after the LH surge, the ovulation will happen, which will cause the follicle to release its, its egg. And thereafter, the luteal phase is maintained in the uh, effect of estrogen. So moving on, why are we talking about progesterone in IVF cycle? Why specifically in IVF cycles? Because what happens in an IVF cycle, we need to understand that we are supplementing high levels of hormones to the patient to form multiple follicles. We all know that, right? Whatever hormones you're giving, you're giving FSH, you're giving HMG, any form of stimulation you're giving to the patient, the basic aim is to have more number of follicles. So more the number of follicles, the higher will be the estrogen levels in these patients. So IVF cycles contributes to multifollicular development and therefore high levels of estrogen. We are clear here till here now. These high levels of estrogen will send a negative feedback to the hypothalamus pituitary axis causing depletion in the LH. So more than um, the amount of estrogen, lesser will be the LH surge and it'll be for a shorter duration. So it will cause a decrease in LH, okay? This is just a comparison of a natural cycle versus an IVF cycle. In natural cycle, as we all know, there's an optimal follicular development. Either one follicle is developing or at max two follicles are developing. So the LH surge is quite adequate. The LH surge is quite persistent for a longer duration and therefore the function of corpus luteum is maintained. Whereas in an IVF cycle, there is multifollicular development, 
the number of follicles which are being developed causes high levels of estrogen to be released. This high estrogen is actually sending a negative feedback to the hypothalamus, thus decreasing the LH levels. Now, since LH is very, very important for the corpus luteum to be maintained, low levels of LH will cause premature luteolysis. The corpus luteum will not be maintained. There will be low mid-luteal LH levels and therefore there will be lesser amount of progesterone. That is why it is very, very important to uh, supplement progesterone from outside artificially because the endogenous progesterone which is being produced is very, very low in these cycles. So now, uh, again, just a small graphical depiction of the same. We have stimulated our patient. We have formed multiple follicles. All the growing follicles are producing high levels of estrogen, sending a negative feedback, lesser amount of LH. This is one theory which is causing the luteal phase defect. There's another thing which is also causing the corpus luteum not to be maintained in these patients is that we all are using GnRH analogs in this, these IVF cycles. Whenever you're using a GnRH analog, this in turn also causes a negative feedback to the hypothalamopituitary axis, again, decreasing the level of LH. And uh, uh, again, there is a luteal phase defect in these patients. So there are uh, many contributing factors needing the uh, requiring the need to supplement these patients with progesterones. So what is a luteal phase? It is the second half of the menstrual cycle. And when the luteal phase is not maintained or the corpus luteum is defective, we label it as luteal phase defect. The endogenous progesterone which is being produced by the body is quite low in such patients and therefore there is a need to supplement these patients with additional progesterones. Additional progesterone is very, very important as we all know that it's important for maintenance of a functional secretory endometrium, which in, terms, uh, in turn helps in a normal implantation and growth of the embryo and sustain, uh, sustenance of a pregnancy. You're stimulating the patient, you're getting good number of follicles, but if you're not supplementing the patient with progesterone, all goes into vain. So abnormal low levels of LH is the major factor which is causing all the trouble. You have to remember this. LH is the main factor which is causing all of the trouble. LH is being secreted in pulses during the luteal phase. And if it's not getting secreted because of these abnormal levels of hormones in the body, the implantation is not going to happen or there can be an early miscarriage that can happen. Even if you have stopped the GnRH agonist, it is important to understand that it takes almost 10 to 12 days for the suppression of LH to wane off. So if you have stopped the GnRH agonist of say, on say 1st of August, you, you, uh, you know, the effect lasts up to 10th of August or say 12th of August. So uh, for that long, it suppresses the LH. That's why it's very, very important that we give in something additionally from outside to supplement these patients. Why are we so bothered about the luteal phase defects? As I have already mentioned, the whole aim in IVF cycle or ART cycle, you're doing a controlled ovarian hyperstimulation. All we want is a pregnancy in the end. However, with luteal phase defect, there can be recurrent pregnancy losses. The patient can have infertility. There can be poor implantation or a poor endometrium. We have many uh, preparations which are available for luteal phase support. I'm sure we all are aware about using progesterone. Estrogen, when you're giving it in, in the initial uh, phase of preparation of the endometrium, we usually recommend to continue it in the luteal phase also. HCG also we all have been using. We know that the HCG has a similar structure as LH and therefore it does help in maintaining the luteal function. Recently, GnRH analogs all have also been been used to maintain the luteal phase support. However, I'll restrict myself only to uh, talk about progesterone in the luteal phase. Only a small word to add on. GnRH agonist, there are many IVF specialists who have started using this in a small dose. We give it in the mid-luteal phase in a very low dose and they have seen that in, especially in patients with recurrent implantation failures and repeated IVF failures, GnRH agonist in the luteal phase have found out to be very, very good. However, this is a very recent thing and uh, not everyone is using it at present. Coming on to our uh, major product, which is progesterone, we'll be sticking on to this today to supplement this in the luteal phase. It's an endogenous steroid hormone that is uh, commonly produced by the ovaries. We all know about this. It is also secreted by the ovarian corpus luteum. 
in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy, following which we all know that the placenta takes over for the maintenance of the progesterone functions. What does this hormone cause? It causes secretory changes in the endometrium, which makes it more sticky to receive the embryo. It increases the endometrial vascularity. It inhibits myometrial contractility. It also promotes uterine quiescence, stimulates the uterine growth. Now, coming on to the immunomodulated activity, there is a balance in, the, in our body between the NK cells and the T helper 2 cells. And uh, the progesterone actually, uh, you know, immunomodulates in a way that the activity of T helper 2 cells is increased and the activity of NK cells is decreased, thereby promoting implantation of the coming embryo. The ultimate aim of all of these actions is to achieve a healthy pregnancy. We have various formulations which are available in the market. Uh, we all are very familiar with it. We all have used in all of these. We have all, we have all used all of these. Uh, there can be vaginal preparations, oral preparations, rectal, intramuscular, which can be aqueous or oil-based. I'll be taking you one by one through all of these preparations and then we can discuss the advantages uh, and disadvantages and how to actually judicially use all of these. The progesterone preparations, the first one are natural micronized progesterones. We have all been using this since ages. These natural progesterone are called natural because they are obtained from natural sources like soya and yam. It's called micronized because the particle which is obtained is then broken into smaller particles. The advantage of smaller particles is that bioavailability is little higher and also the absorption is little easier. These natural micronized progesterone can be used in oral, rectal, vaginal or injectable preparations in all the preparations basically. In the synthetic ones, we all know we have been bombarded with uh, lots of preparations in the market coming uh, of, dido of uh, didrogestron and uh, we all have seen its effect and how good it is. Comparing the natural ones with the synthetic ones, the bioavailability of synthetic ones is definitely much, much, much higher than a natural progesterone. So if you are thinking of supplementing any of your ART cycle patient, uh, a synthetic progesterone is definitely number one followed by a natural micronized progesterone if cost is not a matter. We all know the, the cost of the synthetic didrogestron is much higher. This is a small chart uh, uh, that, would, uh, that we'll just discuss. So the first preparation that I'm talking about, we are using oral ni natural micronized progesterone. It can be given in a dose of 200 milligram two to three times a day. The advantage with this one is that it comes in all the preparations. You can use it orally, vaginally, rectally, and also injectable forms. We have been using it in non-ART cycles also. It's an easy preparation, easily available, and the cost is also not much. Whenever you are fearing a loss, even in non-ART cycle patient, we usually supplement the patient with an oral natural micronized progesterone. The only problem is with some preparations or with some uh, products which are coming, there are the, some patients would complain of dizziness or, uh, you know, just, just that nausea feeling of not feeling well. Uh, the second one, which is the synthetic didrogestron, it can be used up, uh, at a dosing of uh, 20 to 40 milligram per day. The bioavailability is much, much higher than the natural micronized progesterone. The cost is also much higher uh, to, to, not, uh, to mention that. And uh, it is more potent. The compliance is much better because as I said, the dizziness is much higher with the micronized, natural micronized form. It is much lesser with the synthetic form. The immunomodulator activity is also better. And we have also seen that the live birth rate is much higher with the synthetic ones. Coming on to the injectable preparation, the Depro preparation, which is available, 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone. The plasma concentration is good, but then there is uh, uh, there are higher injection bumps and it's quite oily and viscous. So to be very true, in the IVF cycles per se, I'm not using this. The other two preparations that we have here are the ones which are uh, regularly used. The micronized uh, progesterone in the oil form and water form. The oil form is used at a dosing of 100 milligram per day and the water base is used at, at a dosing of uh, 25 to 50 milligram per day. The plasma concentration, as I've already discussed, is quite high. Vaginal progesterones are something which are our favorites. Uh, the... Favoritism is because it bypasses the first pass metabolism. 
and there is higher concentration of the progesterone molecule which is reaching the uterus it is bypassing all the peripheral circulation and it is the drug is being de uh, delivered directly to the uterus the capsules or the pessaries which are available are being used uh, from 400 to 800 mg per day and also there is gel preparation again the uh, the gel and uh, capsules are equally effective so we have discussed all the formulations which are available. We have also discussed what is the advantage of one over the another. But what are the protocols that we actually use in IVF? See, whenever you are drafting a protocol for your IVF patient, there are multiple factors that you need to consider. Number one definitely is efficacy and effectiveness of the progesterone molecule that you are prescribing to your patient. What are the patient preferences? The cost of medications? type of trigger which was used for the IVF cycle and fresh versus frozen transfer. So I think the first four factors are uh, clear. I would be discussing the trigger part mainly that why is it different that when, when I'm using a GnRH trigger versus when I'm using an HCG trigger, what is the difference and how does the progesterone supplementation differ in these two patients? This is just a graphical de depiction of the LH surge. The purple graph would depict the LH surge with, when you're giving a GnRH agonist trigger. You can see the LH surge is sufficient, but then it lasts for a much smaller duration of time. Whereas you can compare with the black graph, this is actually the natural LH surge when a natural follicle is developing and then the ovulation is happening. With HCG, the LH surge is definitely much more uh, higher and much more longer. So with this graph, you might think that HCG is a better trigger and you know the maintenance is much better. See, the maintenance of corpus luteum is definitely much better when you're, you, when you're using a HCG trigger, but wherein uh, patients who are, are at risk of developing OHSs or in hyperstimulation syndrome, you cannot always use an HCG trigger. So whenever you're using a GnRH agonist trigger, it's always better to freeze all uh, the freeze all the embryos and better to go with a frozen transfer. In case you're going in with a the transfer, there is additional need of supplementation as we can understand that the LH surge is lesser and the duration of LH for which it is secreted is also lesser. This is uh, a recent study which was conducted in 2022 and uh, they have actually compared the effectiveness of progesterone supplementation in uh, embryo transfer. This was a single center randomized control trial and they had uh, measured the progesterone levels on the day of uh, frozen embryo transfer and compared the pregnancy rate. They had two groups. The study group had received vaginal progesterone along with an intramuscular progesterone and the second group had received only a vaginal progesterone. So they found that the study group in which a combination of vaginal and injectable progesterone was used, the pregnancy rate was much, much higher. This was the most recent trial that I could find for a comparison. However, many randomized controls have been conducted so far. They have compared vaginal with oral, with a combination of few, with HCG, with GnRH agonist, and uh, adding HCG, not adding HCG to these protocols. And many of these randomized control trials have not found anything significantly different from the other. If we talk about only progesterone supplementation, uh, when we are comparing different formulations of progesterone, comparing oral versus intramuscular or vaginal versus intramuscular, till date, 45 randomized control trials have been conducted, which have included almost 13,000 IVF cycles. And they have found that there was no significant difference. Uh, none of the formulation was better over another, not to mention uh, the synthetic progesterones are definitely much, much better than the natural forms or the natural micronized forms. So uh, if the randomized controls trial do not predict anything, then what do we do? What do we actually use? Should we go with oral, vaginal, injectable, or gels? There is no evidence that one treatment regimen is superior over the another. However, as I said, the synthetic ones are better over the micronized uh, natural ones. Practically, I feel that uh, whosoever is doing an IVF cycle would supplement their patients with the definitely one injectable progesterone with the, either an oral or a vaginal preparation or a combination of these. Using HCG or not using HCG is 
uh, basically up to you or maybe you're using uh, dealing with patients with recurrent failures or or you know the pa the patient's age is higher or you're not having a very good embryo definitely would like to supplement it with hcg so for how long do we need to actually supplement these progesterone the american society of reproductive medicine actually says that the luteal phase support should end whenever you find a positive pregnancy test and once you stop this luteal phase support there is uh, no decrease in the live birth rate in these patients. However, I would rather be safe than sorry. And I think most of us are actually practicing this, that we do not end it once we find a positive pregnancy test. We actually continue it in the beginning and in the early first trimester uh, so that there is no loss or there's no early miscarriage. So at least for me, I'm not uh, stopping the progesterone support once I get a positive pregnancy test. Uh, so what is the take-home message? We have understood that uh, the stimulation in IVF with high doses of hormones leads to multiple follicles development and this causes increased levels of estrogen which causes the depression in the LH. Now this LH is very important for the maintenance of the function of corpus luteum which is not maintained because of the suppression of LH and therefore there is luteal phase defect in these patients. It's always better to supplement the ART cycles with some form of luteal phase support. Progesterone support is easy and handy and uh, ideally it should begin as soon as you pick up the oocytes or the very next day after you pick up the oocytes. Different regimes of progesterones have been used, but none has actually proved itself to be superior to another. However, a combination of drugs is found to be suitable and is actually more practical than following one particular regime. And uh, practically, we continue the support till the early first trimester. This is what is being followed all over the world by most of the ART specialists. Thank you so much for patient hearing. Thank you, ma'am. Very well said that progesterone is the molecule which is really required to maintain the functions of the secretory endometrium and implantation of the embryo. And of course, uh, uh, progesterone deficiency results in RPL infertility and poor endometrium. So progesterone is really very much required to be given whenever it is needed. As uh, Dr. Gunjan has very well uh, told about the pathophysiology also not needed in the natural and normal pregnancy, but if there is any problem, it's really needed. It's very helpful in maintaining the pregnancy. And nowadays, sometimes uh, when we are stimulating the patient simply for the IUI cycles and simple ovulation induction with clomiphene or letrozole, we also give uh, progesterone support to the patient. And uh, didrogesterone is also having a wonderful immunomodulator activity, which is really very helpful in maintaining the pregnancy. One thing I also want to add that uh, LOTUS 1 and LOTUS 2 studies were done from 2013 to 2016. In that, it has also been found that uh, synthetic progesterone is very good over to the oral or micronized progesterone. So I am very much comfortable with the didrogesterone. It is having wonderful effectivity and efficacy. Of course, it is slightly costly, but I am very much comfortable. Uh, so, thank you, Dr. Gunjan, for such a wonderful talk. Yeah, well, uh, Gunjan, it was Dr. really wonderful. And the it way was you really. talk, yeah. yeah, even I've seen you uh, physically also. So, I think uh, since then, I was so impressed that Gunjan is going to be the next star uh, <laughs> from our site. And uh, wonderful talk. Um, more balanced. I like the, the way. I don't know, but somehow a check bolo, but a bohat balanced bohat a chabula to me. Really, very impressive. Thank you so much for always motivating, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gazaba, Doctor. Excellent, amazing, mesmerizing. Are you have taken us, all of us, in the basics? And it is, it was a classroom feeling. You have experienced they are always are good academicians, very good surgeons, and बहुत कुछ आता है हम लोग तो सिर्फ बोलने के काबिल रह गए फॉक्सी में चलो कोई बात नहीं 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 ऐसा कुछ नहीं है you people are so senior and so intelligent and really your mentors 
आपने कितने सारे लोग बढ़ा दिए बना दिए एंड वी हैव लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम सीमा और अर्चना थोड़ा टाइम मथुरा सोसाइटी को दो जरा एक दो मिनट उनको जरा थोड़ा बोलने दो वो लोग थोड़ा डॉक्टर बोलेंगे डॉक्टर ज्योति अग्रवाल डॉक्टर दिनू हैज लेफ्ट इन सम इमरजेंसी अच्छा ये डॉक्टर वेर इज डॉक्टर अर्चना गोयल इफ शी इज देयर हां डॉक्टर यस मैम आई एम हियर गुड इवनिंग मैम या तो आई आई रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर अर्चना गोयल टू प्लीज अच्छा तुम्हारा नाम भी नहीं दिख रहा था ना आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाई आई वाज कंफ्यूज्ड ओके नहीं आई हैव आई हैव गिवन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डॉक्टर अर्चना यू प्लीज हां यस अर्चना या आई वाज देयर मैम गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन एंड Uh, i pay my heartfelt gratitude to dr archana verma ma'am for this privilege and a special thanks to dr archana sharma and dr seema vashne ma'am and uh, now about the speaker dr gunjan kulati i must say it was a wonderful and very informative session and having attended this talk all doctors listening must be feeling equipped regarding protocols of progesterone usage in ivf and it was really a good revision you have covered almost all points in a commendable way as the progesterone is a very important hormone and we are blessed that we have many options available with this molecule that we can use it orally vaginally intramuscular as well as subcutaneous also as it is a costly drug so we should be very rational in prescribing progesterone with the tender loving care and uh, the use of oral uh, progesterone is clearly inferior to uh, like im or vaginal administrations except synthetic ones and associated with an increased risk of side effects also and uh, insufficient data are available for a direct comparison of im with the vaginal progesterone but uh, yes in ivf luteal phase support is necessary to optimize the results of treatment so thank you very much ma'am for giving this opportunity and uh, thank you dr gunjan again for this excellent presentation thank you thank you all thank you everyone uh, for to for all the office bearers of west up and mathura society and uh, thank you dr maji sir dr pragya choudhary ma'am dr leela vyas ma'am and uh, i'm sorry if i forgot to take name of anybody thank you ma'am thank you so much neha neha dr neera you want to say something then even neha was here in chairperson na yes yes hmm. yes ma'am Doctor Neha, you have to unmute. Doctor Neha, you have to unmute yourself. Can you? Can you? Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes, we can hear. वो कुछ नया ही डिवाइस लगा के बोल रहे हैं। हमको दिख रही है म्यूटेड। Now, oh, yes. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, thank you dr gunjan it was very nice very crisp and very to the point talk and uh, it was uh, in depth also and it was very practical also very nice to hear from you and thank you arshna ma'am for giving me this opportunity to chair the session are ye arshna sharma hi karti rehti hai pata nahi kya kya thank you arshna sharma thank you thank you sima ma'am <laughs> very good good neha uh, uh, like you, we have we are very lucky to have you with us thank you so much ma'am okay. thank you everybody now may i invite uh, dr jyoti jyoti and mathura team who ever want to say mathura something. team uh, for uh, official vote of thanks and uh, if they want rashmi to rashmi rashmi was secretary and jyoti dr jyoti i think she has left jyoti are you there exactly so um, vote of thanks bhi hum hi de lenge chal there but uh, her video is off if there is dr jyoti please uh, dr deepika can you see her dr jyoti ma'am there no, is so, she is there but i think she is there but uh, she maybe she is there is some problem somewhere in my computer also some internet uh, disruption was there in between i think a mobile uh, actually na mobile is a life savior when this uh, mobile ka 4g kabhi gadbad nahi karta ha matlab ye computer mera bhi beech beech mein kahin kahin disturb kar raha hai there is one question in the uh, question answer that is for question so dr tanvi vasala she says madam very clearly explained most common route of administration of progesterone that you people use 
for IBM. I mean, uh, just uh, people, oh, even goodness. so many people were asking me the role of uh, injectable, uh, that uh, proliton, which were... Uh, uh, I'm Injection maintained. The name. Uh, I'm taking the name of uh, this maintain uh, as the Pika is saying. So that, uh, that uh, do we use and what is the use and how useful it is? Uh, Ma'am, actually, uh, to be very true in the IVF cycles, we definitely are going ahead with the oral didrosistron considering its high bioavailability and how good the molecule is. So definitely oral form of progesterone is definitely given. Apart from that, uh, I'm not going only with one preparation and then stopping there. Definitely adding on a vaginal preparation does help depending upon the comfortability of the patient. Patient is the patient is comfortable with pessary or gel, either of the forms are quite very good. Adding on an aqueous injectable form actually helps a lot because aqueous preparations are not very painful. However, in the later, later phases, when once the pregnancy is achieved, uh, we try and decrease the dosing of injectables so that the pain and the, the problem of you know going uh, with injections every day is definitely increased and we maintain the patients on, on a combination of oral with vaginal. I think Arshna Sharma ma'am also can throw some light on what she is using practically for her patients. Actually, we were using, I was using right and left uh, this injection maintain or uh, this proliton. This no, actually proliton. The depo, the depo after, uh, nowadays, uh, we don't use after depo preparation. Depos are, we are not using depo preparation. We are not using. Daily, and, yeah, daily aqueous preparation uh, is something which is good enough. Daily or and along with day. that, we can use a synthetic progesterone that is didrogesterone. I'm having oral. very good experience mm -hmm. of oral didrogesterone, 20 to 40 milligram or 30 milligram didrogesterone along with the injectable uh, micronized uh, progesterone. Uh, I'm not okay. using product. There is some study going on um, in recent days, what I was uh, reading yeah. somewhere. That this proliton depart or uh, this uh, midrox, this um, depo preparation. People were using it before 12 weeks. Uh, uh, the, and there was some problem many people, the, uh, 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 many people who were using uh, this uh, injectable dihydroxyprogesterone before 20, uh, 12 weeks also. People were using. Uh, and babies delivered, they are doing some study that they are having some complications later on in the life of the baby. So, depot preparation, people have. Uh, Nowadays, not very much encouraged to be used. Nowadays, we are more towards the synthetic uh, dirogesterone along with the injectable micronized progesterone. Maybe the aqueous or the oil because oil preparations are painful. So we are more comfortable with the aqueous preparation. So in my IVF cycles, I, using, I am using these two things. Okay. Ma'am, up to 12 weeks you are using? Up to 12 weeks. It is written everywhere. Up to 12 weeks. Okay, ma'am. And in frozen cycles, somehow I can, if I feel like, uh, then I can give SC support also to some patient. But not in the um, induction when we have given the induction of the other uh, this thing, cycles. In frozen cycles, we can add SCG also. It helps in maintaining the pregnancy. Uh, because there is no risk of OHS is in that, so it is going to add to the things. Because generally, uh, those who are not IVF specialists and uh, remote areas, pregnancy means progesterone. Start giving progesterone. <laughs> well, SCG, how do you give? Weekly? Yes, I give weekly. SCG in frozen cycles. Yeah. When there is no risk of OHS, along with the oral and uh, injectable progesterone. Very good. Because two days back, we had an IVF day. And um, congratulations to all IVF specialists also. And uh, this IVF really is pay, being, uh, giving parenthood to each and every. And this is a, how the woman feel complete. A complete man ki to hum log ne bohat, uh, photos dekhi hai. Complete woman means a uh, woman who has become pregnant and has delivered. So this is really very important and saving. Woman is important, but making her a mother is also very, very important. Yes. Motherhood is a wonderful thing for any lady. Yes. Thank yes, you. Thank I you also for want to... taking so much pains and for a smooth running of to, uh, today's event. I'd just like to take you along with our a few products of ours, which are the progestogens that uh, you people are using. Everybody, please do support DivaGest, 
this make everybody feel diva and so use diva jest and uh, this uh, we and have Vibatron, Diatrogestron. Yes, yes. And injection yes. maintained is our hydroxyprogesterone caproid. Allylestronol 5-MG tablet is maintained tablet. Apart from that, for AUB, uh, we have Cyclorex CR10, that is norethistron acetate, uh, Cyclorex plain 5-MG, and Endorex Dynogest 2-MG tablets. So uh, major yes. support uh, required for Divatron, which is our micronized didrogestron, uh, which and divagest and divagest, our natural micronized progesterone. The whole range is available for you to uh, support. Divatron tested, is, tested and trusted. Right. Divatron has also won this excellence award last year. Divatron from Jack. So this was the award uh, from AVEX Marketing Excellence Award Night at Mumbai. And it is bioequivalent to the innovative brand as well. So we look forward to your support. Thank you so very much.